Everybody knows that picture books are wonderful for all children of all ages, but it's a great shame that children as they get older, particularly through Key Stage 2, tend to be encouraged to move away from picture book. Picture book combines word and image. You cannot understand the full meaning of the text unless you read both the visual text and the linguistic text. A book for older children often has the most sophisticated levels of meaning in the images. It uses visual techniques such as line, colour, shape, space to create meanings which they could possibly not understand if they were just written in words. Children need to learn how to do this. It's the beginning of understanding media in its widest sense. We tend to do an awful lot of work with picture books in the class, um, partly because we have children from 10 different nationalities represented in the class and a high proportion of children who have English as an additional language. We have some very bright children and also children with special needs, so we've got a real mix. And the beauty of picture books is that they're accessible to everyone. You can take them where you want to. You can do ordering, retelling. There's just so much for everybody in them. They are generally great fun and very amusing, entertaining, but that pleasure can come not just from the enjoyment of funny pictures and stories, but also rewarding, challenging pictures and stories that are taking them further into thinking beyond the literal, understanding deeper ideas, and sometimes giving them an insight into things which may be considered almost too mature for them. Ideas such as war, bereavement, relationships. Prince of Smarty Pants is intended to make you laugh out loud, and it does. Whereas a child's garden could actually make an adult cry, and children know how serious the story is. Picture book, of course, can be used in all sorts of different areas of the curriculum. They are very powerful for the use in English, but they can also be used in other subjects. For example, history, geography, environmental studies, and even those subjects that you may not associate with literature, such as maths and science and technology. There are picture books that you can use to support those subjects, such as The Maths Curse by John Sheska. This book about the colonisation of Australia, which gives a version of a story which is very difficult to tell but with the images and the ideas, children at the top end of juniors and into secondary school can begin to comprehend the story. Picture book enables us to teach literary theory. Little children can pick up on character and setting and atmosphere and mood, even more so as they get older. When the text is telling them the story, they are looking at the pictures that tell you something about the character. Or maybe they are looking at the way in which the setting itself can give an atmosphere to the feeling of the story. The way a plot builds, that we can start with a front cover and anticipate what will happen in the story. It's about enabling them to build up a repertoire of literary understanding that can easily transfer as they then start to read in guided reading and therefore become more competent and more confident readers themselves. Picture book can extend children's thinking and learning considerably and teachers who do not have picture book in their classroom, either for the children to read for their own pleasure or to be part of their teaching repertoire, the resources that they can use in their classroom, are missing out on a very, very powerful support to children's learning.